is Ryan. Ryan was born a female in a small Midwest town where people described her as a tomboy. It wasn't until Ryan got into college that he began to explore the feeling that had plagued him through life, his life, that he was born in the wrong body. Now, you are an LGBTQ educator, so I said, uh-huh, and the author of Second Son and shares his story of transition with us today. Thank you for being here, Ryan. Yeah. So at what point did you realize born in the wrong body? Uh, well... When I had the first different with me was about two and a half years of age. Interesting. At uh, two, I mean, is that that's that's when we have our earliest memories, maybe? Or? Well, they say you can have a sense of your gender identity, meaning your psychological sense of self, as early as eighteen months. Mm-hmm. But two and a half is when we start having memories, and then age three and four with language development, we start start hearing kids express it more. Okay, so what do you remember from back then? I remember I lived in a small town, in Nebraska, and we had a pool in our backyard. And I was outside with my dad and my brother and my mom and my sister. And I saw my dad and my brother in their swim trunks. I saw my sister and my mom in their swim suit. And I had a little bikini on. Uh, and I looked at everybody and I looked down and I was like, hmm. So I just took the top part off. And you felt like it wasn't right for you? No, I felt like I identify with the men in my family, not the women. And so I wanted to be like them and wear swim trunks. Instead of swimming suit. And so how hard was it for you to sort of convince everyone around you that this was the case? Uh, well, back then I didn't really talk about it much. And being someone born female, they just saw me as a tomboy. So there wasn't the stigma that we see placed on people born male that act more feminine. Okay, so it was more feminine. socially acceptable. Okay, yeah. okay, so you would sort of fl- fly under the radar as a tomboy. Correct. And then at what point, at what age do you want to sort of take things further, like introducing hormones and doing the, the, the change? Well, my actual transition didn't happen until I was 25. But at age six, I knew that I really wanted to be a boy. And I remember having this awareness that my body wasn't changing, even though I was out wishing on stars and trying everything else to try to change myself. And I remember just sitting in the bathroom and thinking, this really sucks. I've got dealt a bad deck of cards, and I have to live with this the rest of my life. And so was this something you could talk about with your parents? No. You just kept it to yourself? I kept everything to myself. I always joke that the F word in my family is feelings. Uh, so. <laughs> and you, I mean, you abused your body. You became anorexic. Yeah, uh, when my puberty kicked in around age 12, I stopped having this weight I mean, boy because my body more female with your hip development, breast development, and menstrual cycle, all these things are horrific for me. And so I just had this goal of just stop being female, which turned to body hate and obsession. When I got into college, I, um, I just knew that there was something wrong with me, and I felt that I could never be conventionally loved by anyone, and I felt like I had to become more of a woman to do that. And I looked at Hollywood, or I looked at magazines, or I looked at the pressure with my family, and I thought being more of a woman than being skinny, mm-hmm. which led me to anorexia. So what would you say to people that, you know, are maybe going through the same thing you struggled with through your earlier years? What advice do you give to them? Well, I always say to them, honor your truths. Uh, you have to love yourself first. You cannot have authentic relationships with other people until you have an authentic relationship with yourself no matter how scary it is. And I understand it's scary. I've, I've lived through two suicide attempts, severe depression, but where my life has taken me just by finally facing that fear of moving forward and the people that I've met and the lives I've seen changing and the kids that have families now that conditionally love them, let them be who they are, that's what love is about and it's out there. But we have to push past that fear. Well said. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Happy to meet you. Next. The transgender community is in crisis. What we can do to help. Stay tuned.